update. It's been 12 weeks since brain surgery. I've slimmed down a lot. I haven't weighed myself, but I would guess that I lost, I don't know, maybe at least 10, maybe 12 pounds. And I am pushing on a trail. There's a lot of traffic to my left. Hopefully you can hear me. But yeah, I'm not trying to go too crazy. I'm doing like a five mile loop and pacing, doing a little bit of cross stepping and manuals. But I'm pretty happy with my progress. It's pretty awesome to be on a board again. Hopefully it's a little easier to hear me. It's so hot today. I had to get off the trail. There's like no shade for the last quarter mile. And that's pretty much the last stretch I'm on. Uh, it's about 86 degrees. 85, 86. We're in Lighthouse Point, Florida. That's South Florida. It's by Boca. Oh, I think we found the shortcut, yes. Oh, these look fun, these little pillars. I don't know what you can do with that. But, oh, I need to like sit down for a second. I'd be lying if I said this was my first time out. This is my second, no, third. But I don't really count the first time because it was literally 10 minutes and it started to rain like torrential. It's pretty amazing actually, because it started to come down and it was like raining three, like, okay, like 10 feet behind me and it kept encroaching on me until I was like inside. It was pretty awesome. Those dogs are barking at me. Skate life. This trail's nice though, like I said, it's like 5.4 miles around. It's all smooth, you can ride a skateboard. I have a longboard, but you could comfortably take small wheels in here. Harduro, easy. Let's see if I can make this turn. I'm not gonna try it. challenge I've really been facing skating after what I think 12 weeks three months three months or 12 weeks after brain surgery I mean I'm just tired and that's solely because of the reason for the surgery it's called Cushing's disease look it up but it's like your body is overproducing cortisol at like ungodly sized amounts. Literally, I was a superhuman, I guess, and I wasn't aware. And then it's because there's a tumor on your pituitary gland, which is in your brain, and uh, causes your body to go all out of whack. I think I'm gonna sit down and keep explaining. Standing is too hard right now. Honestly, I've been riding my bike more than skating because it's like low impact and you can kind of I mean, I usually keep pedaling the whole time, but there are moments where I rest and just cruise. That's amazing. And I feel like rambling, so I'm gonna sit down and talk to you guys more. Hopefully I'm not sitting in a pile of red ants, which is famous for South Florida. What else do I have to say? Oh, I'm kind of dizzy. That's okay. Yeah, at this park, you're supposed to, at every park, I guess. So, 
like I was saying, uh, yeah, it's called Cushing's disease. Once they remove the tumor, which is benign, not cancerous, thank God, or if you know, you're atheist, thank goodness. Um, so they removed it, and like I said, once it's removed, it was there for prob you know some time, so it's done a little damage in in the way that can be resolved through time. But immediately after the surgery, your body just is not going to produce cortisol because it naturally, it's kind of confusing, but it naturally stopped producing cortisol, which is uh, a hormone, you know, to, which operates a lot of systems in the body and just controls like growing, um, hormones, just, I don't know, my skin was different. Obviously I put on weight. Um, so once the tumors were removed, you, your body has to naturally start producing it again. So at first they have you on this medication to stimulate unnatural production of, of cortisol. And then gradually they wean you off that. So like I said, we're at about, we're at week 10, 12. And I'm feeling pretty good, but like I said, I wish my energy was higher than it, than it is. But they still have to wean me off the medication and I could take up to a year, but Hopefully it'll be six months or seven or something like, I'm hopeful that, you know, I just want to be all natural. I want to get off anything un unnatural. I'm not even taking vitamins these days. It's just, you know, not taking any supplements at all. I'm trying to eat healthy, of course, and try to work out every day. And it's not that hard when you're unemployed. So that's good. Like I said, I'm doing pretty good for, I was my worst, I was, I think I want to, I was definitely 150, I, I think I was 155 at my worst, 155 pounds, and naturally my body has always been under 140, prime, primo weight for me, I like 137, 138, 135 would be great, I would probably be like sporting like a six pack, really defined find I would skate for you guys today do some tricks but I think I'm too winded that'll be the next video thank you for watching like comment subscribe and yeah let me know like what you guys want to see or if you have any questions about Cushing if you have any questions about skating after Cushing's kind of during during Cushing's if you have any questions at all if you have questions about South Florida COVID if you have questions about COVID in South Florida, yes, it's as high as they say. But, you know, social distance, wear your mask, don't be foolish, wear a mask. COVID is real, even if you think it's not. I keep looking over here, but I think I should be looking right there. There's an airport, like, really close. Just like disgusting. Cushing's is the ugly disease, unfortunately. It just makes you ugly. You know? Makes your hair fall out. I cut my hair, that's why it's short, and it's just frizzy. But it does make your hair kind of fall out. Um, Cushing sucks. But getting over Cushing's is awesome. My eyebrows do look good though. Wrist or palm protector, but that wouldn't be a bad idea considering a lot of people, oh, I bet you a lot of rollerbladers would be all over some sort of a palm protector. Are you listening, G-Form?